Assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today this video is on how to upgrade to macOS Mojave 10.14 with your current OS X. So this video is basically for those who want to install, who wants to update to macOS Mojave from a previous Apple system. So I will also make another video in how you can directly use your PC to create this bootable uh, USB for Mojave and instead uh, just updating directly to 10.14 from a previous uh, Apple OS. So stay tuned for that video as well. So right now I'm using 10.13.6 because there are no NVIDIA graphics support in 10.14 yet and NVIDIA has to release the update for that. So we have to wait. So I was using Intel HD 6300 or 630 but it was not efficient enough or working so good to make the video on Mojave so I decided to make a video on 10.13 and I will show you how to upgrade to 10.14 so the one thing you need is a USB if you want to make a boot bootable USB installer and if you don't want to make a bootable USB installer then you don't need a USB as well you can directly update to 10.14 from any previous uh, Mac OS from ranging 10.9 to till 10.13 13 so you basically don't need that i will plug my usb so we can use that usb to update so i've plugged the usb in the usb slot and here it comes so i use it to transfer some data to my playstation some games so that's why it's written playstation 3 so what you have to do now is first of all the first thing you have to do is format your usb to GUID file system so you, right now you, you can see here the scheme is mentioned master boot record apple partition map or GUID partition map so you will use GUID partition map because this one is latest and this one is old and this one is apple and it's never used now so we will name it USB and I will format it so now the USB is formatted to GUID and its format is macOS extended and its partition map is GUID. And we will bring USB in the center of the screen. Now what you have to do, you have to open your app store and you have to download the latest macOS simply powerful from the app store. Once the app, app is downloaded, you will find that app right here in your Launchpad. So once this thing is here, what you have to do to make a bootable USB installer is you have to use this little code which I will write in the description so you can install the Mac OS. Oh, let me find it. You will use this thing to make the bootable USB installer of Mojave from your terminal. So you don't need any extra software to make a bootable USB installer for a Mac but you need a extra software to make it bootable with a Hackintosh. So right at the end of this is the name of your USB. So we'll write USB in capital here and we'll copy this command and we'll close our notepad and we will go here and in terminal we will write our code and we'll press enter and we will be write our password which is super secret and now it asks me if I want to format the drive it will say yes and basically it will repeat that step which I did but it will just format the USB it will not change the partition table so that's why I ask you guys to make a new partition table GUID and then do this process so it is copying the data and meanwhile a quick tip to how to get this utility thingy on your dock what you have to do is you have to open your application and go to your utilities where it is and if you bring it here it will create this box from where you can directly access your utilities and it's copying data and what else i can show you meanwhile handshaker is also a very good android application you can use for your data transfer between android and Apple and it works wirelessly if your device is connected to VLAN it will work absolutely fine and if you have a fast 5 gigahertz internet Wi-Fi connection your data transfer rate will be faster than a USB 2.0 connectivity 
so keep in mind this thing is really nice and one more thing i've ordered a samsung 970 pro sst and i will be soon making a video on that so stay tuned and what else flux is also a very nice internet downloading application you will really really love this it's same as idm internet downloader manager on windows but it's way too better and it support torrents and youtube videos and even third party links many other facilities and then we can use screenflow is a video recorder which i use you can buy the paid screen flocks for like 60 bucks you can get that the wincy resolve is really nice video editor and many other things so we are almost close to our data being copied so when this is close to 80 or if it's done you can open your clever configurator and in clever configurator you get down here and in here you'll click install and update clever we will click save download and check so it will check the latest uh clever bootloader that's available and even if you're on the latest you can just download it and it will download the latest clever bootloader for you you don't need to go to any website or anything you just click here and you will get the latest clever bootloader and wait for it to download and it's going to be finished soon so we wait for this as well so we are done with installation of our mac os mojave usb installer and to remove any complexity in naming we will rename our usb drive to just usb so in further ado we'll be able to understand which drive is which otherwise it's very difficult to read because there's written uh the bootloader will uh, write is as install mac as from install mac os mojave that will be really confusing so we just rename our usb to usb and our bootloader is downloaded what you have to do it now is it gonna open here it will gonna pop up and you click continue we will continue and we say continue and in here first we change the location then we customize otherwise settings are lost we click our usb we say continue and then we customize and here we're going to use this clever for uefi bootloading only install clever in esp and in here usb drivers you have to select the ones that suit you for example if you are using a graphic card you have to use emi variable uefi and then go down here you can also use apfs driver loader if uh, it might help you booting into the system faster and then here in nvme express if you're using an nvme drive like i'm using you're going to use this and if you're using the gtx 10 gtx 1000 series of nvidia cars you're going to use this osx of your fixed three driver and if you're using anything older than 1000 series of nvidia graphica you're going to use the same variant but with fix 2 not fix 3 so i'm using the third gen i'm using the 1000 series nvidia so i'm going to use this and you can install both of these the two and the three if you find three here and the v1 stands for virtual box so you just ignore that and just go though I said, don't install the CSM video decks. I uh, used to use this, but it's gonna crash your clever if you're going to use Intel graphics. So don't use this. A very bad thing. Then we say install and we'll 768. We enter our super secret password and we let the clever mount the UEFI EFI drive of our USB and we say close. So once this is mounted, we go to our config.plst of our USB and oh my god these are some basic settings clever did so you can first ignore it it might help you and then go to the boot and here use minus v which stands for verbose it's going to help you although it's going to display everything that's going on to your osx while it boots you can use nv underscore disable if you are using nvidia graphics card and if you're using uh, Intel you have to use this disable GFX firmware Down here in boot graphics ignore this devices, you know this 
disable GUI, ignore this. I don't use mouse, so ignore this. Graphics. So here in graphics, if you want to use Intel, then inject Intel. Do not use load VBIOS if you're using Intel. It's gonna crash your Intel and won't let you boot into Mac OS Mojo with your Intel graphic card. And that's really crappy. So don't use this. And just use Intel Inject. Don't use load VBIOS, just use Intel Inject. And here in IG platform, you have to choose the one based on your system. If you're using an Haswell system, go down here, select this Haswell. If you're on a board well, select any of these starting from this. And it also depends on your generations and stuff. I will tell you this as well. So if you're using Skylake desktop, then choose this one. And you have to use your SM BIOS as 17.1 or 17.2 and use the other one. And right now I'm on KB Lake desktop and the one that works for me is this one anything else does not work for me so i prefer you all if you're on a kb lake system to use this one only so once you are done with this go here down and use apple rtc lepic kernel panic this always support so use this in rt variables you can use anything that's available and you have to use these and this in SM BIOS what you have to do is if you're on a Intel 4 generation use iMac 14 if you're Intel 5 generation use iMac 15 6 generation you have to use iMac 17 7 generation you have to use iMac 18 for 5th generation you can use both of these 16 1 16 2 and for fifth gen four generation, I don't prefer you to go with iMac 15, just go with 14, 14, 14, 14. And for eight gener seven generation, I prefer you go with iMac 18.3, nothing else. And right now we'll choose this. And here you can add your memory slots. You can use dual channel. And here you use NVIDIA Web if you're using NVIDIA graphic card. And here in devices, you have to add Intel fake graphics ID as well I will enter this in the description below I don't know I don't remember it right now so please check the description for Intel graphics fake ID don't forget that otherwise you won't be able to boot into your Mac OS X with Intel and also I will also add some of the properties you have to add under this add properties device so don't forget that as well so after that once you have a bootable USB installer, you can also boot into Mac OS J directly upgrading your current USB or current system to 10.14 and that's simply by just installing this and upgrading by selecting this or you can make an other hard drive partition of a small size from your current bootloader and you can install into that. Click install and restart. And select install from Mojave. If you have perfectly working 10.13.6, I'm pretty sure you won't have any error booting into 10.14. So you can try that as well. But this USB will always be there to help you out.